Hey guys, Anthony here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you five tips in Video Robot. Tip number one After completing all the steps in the video creation process, once you get to the final step and preview the video, if you find that the 3D avatar freezes while the preview plays, just refresh the browser and try again. I noticed that this generally happens in Firefox. Google Chrome is generally recommended when using Video Robot. Tip number two. When uploading media like images, video, and audio to your media library, note that the default selection is video. So if you upload an image without changing the type, you will get an error message. So make sure to check the appropriate tab first before uploading. Tip number three is again another tip for the 3D avatar. If you want to show the 3D avatar for a certain period in the video and then make it disappear for a certain period and then bring it back again, you can insert an image or a video background and then adjust the layers so that it is over top of the 3D avatar. I've created a separate in-depth tutorial to show you how this is done. Tip number four. When creating videos using Video Robot with a blank canvas, it's best to keep your video short that is not more than two minutes. I generally keep my videos around one minute. What works best for me is that if I am creating a five minute video, I will create separate videos for each scene and then use a video editor to put them together. Also, shorter videos render much faster than longer videos. And finally, tip number five, if you have Video Robot open and sitting idle for a few minutes, it's recommended that you refresh the browser when you get back to using Video Robot again. If not, you may encounter some errors or issues using Video Robot. In a separate tutorial, I will show you how to mute a 3D avatar when using text-to-speech. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Look for more Video Robot tutorials on my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.